Okay, today we're doing something a little bit different and fun. Uh, Do it yourself, pottery wheel and kiln. So here is a DIY pottery wheel that I made myself out of some scrap metal for the frame, some scrap wood for the top, an oil drain pan, and an old washing machine motor. So here's a rudimentary drawing I made of the potter's wheel with dimensions. The motor I might have bought online for like 60 bucks. The Napa drip pan was like three or four bucks. The pulleys and belt that you see here all together, I want to say was maybe 30 bucks, 40 bucks for the pedal bearing block, everything. If you don't want to buy a cheap welder like at Harbor Freight or online, or you don't have access to a welder, don't know how to weld, you can do a bolt-together frame instead of a weld-together frame like I did. My first attempt at making a kiln was a metal trash can, and I used an HF10 ceramic fiber blanket attached to the trash can with nichrome wire. Away from trees in the building, set on top of the fireproof blanket and concrete pavers, set on top of concrete for obvious fire safety. And I used quarterite shelves and supports for the shelves. A regular 5-gallon propane tank with a propane regulator and a weed burner that you can buy at Harbor Freight for relatively inexpensively. So here's the kiln all loaded up, ready for fire. You can see I use a digital high temp thermometer to keep track of the temperature. And then I also watch the clock so I know how many hours it's burning at each temperature level. And you can see the hole here in the top of the lid that I can adjust as I'm firing. So here's a second kiln that I welded together at an eighth inch flat steel plate, sheet metal and angle iron, has a removable lid. Inside, it's lined with the same HF10 ceramic fiber blanket, and I use the same quarterite shelves and supports inside, as well as some fire brick. And this one rolls around on heavy-duty casters, so I can store this out of the way quickly and easily when not in use. And I went to a double burner setup with two propane tanks this time, worked a lot better. So here's some examples of greenware, or what they call leather hard pottery. You can see it's in still sort of a rough thrown form. So I need to go back now in this state and clean it up, make it look nice, and then allow it to dry further to the bone dry phase. As you see here, it's dry enough now that we can go ahead and dip it in the glaze and then fire it. Again, this is some of my earlier work, so not going to set the world on fire with this work, obviously, (laughs) but just to show you what you can do with your own two hands. And the idea here with this video is to help motivate you or inspire you to give it a shot. You know, pursue your passion, you know, your hobbies that you've always wanted to try. And so here, the pottery has been glazed. You can see it's kind of a dull color right now, almost a chalky feel to it. So it's ready for the kiln. 
And again, there, there's charts online that'll tell you how long to fire it at what temperature. But usually I start very early in the morning, go to very late at night, let it cool down all night long, open the door the next morning, and you'll have finished, glazed, glossy looking ceramic pottery like this. It's fun to make things that you can use around the house that have utility, or they can give away as gifts to your family and friends. So here's a butter dish as an example. And again, I hope these videos motivate you to give it a shot, whether it's woodworking, metalworking, pottery, gardening, needlepoint, whatever your hobby or passion is, give it a try. Again, this is my first attempt at trying to make a rose, not the greatest in the world. First attempt at a little teapot. So you can do it. And I wish you good luck with your projects. I hope this video served as a little bit of motivation or inspiration for your projects. Please like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment, and thanks for watching.